This is a beautiful stretch of river what I've been photographing for probably over five years now and uh, in fact it's probably longer than that, it's more like seven or eight years and it's great all year round but even more special in autumn really and uh, after the weather we've had in there yesterday was horrendous when it came to the rainstorm so it's not probably my best idea to come and photograph it when it's full uh, you've got all these nice granite rocks around the uh, nicely shaped around the, the the shore if you will or the river bank and it's uh, it can make for a really nice interesting image so just shooting down the river with this uh, bank of birch trees it's 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 really appealing and uh, this rock formation is quite unique actually I, I find it quite interesting the geology around here is beautiful uh, there's a little bridge behind us there with uh, some various little pools within the water quite a nice one there with loads of acorns in so I'm definitely having a shot of that in a minute and uh, yeah so I just wanted to give you a quick showcase of this I made an image from here uh, it must be seven or eight years ago I think when my children were a lot younger and they're actually on the riverbank there in the photograph and it's been quite a popular print I'll show you that now and uh, yeah so I'm just coming back I came back in when was it September so a couple of months ago just to try and um, capture it very early autumn and that, that was beautiful with my touch shift system this time I moved my regular camera and I'm just trying to uh, I, I don't know if I'm gonna better what I've taken previously but I want to try and certainly take more images so you'll see how it looks from there so anyway I'll get on shooting and uh, I'll talk to you again when I see something interesting so I've just taken this little shot down here I've got my tripod set up very close to the floor there and uh, focused onto the little acorns what are under the water using my polarizer here you can get a nice uh, clear view of the uh, uh, the acorns they're quite unique actually there's a little pool of them just under the water there uh, and I've, I've actually focus stacked this shot which uh, since in a previous video I said I've never done it I thought I'd better give it a try out and see uh, see what it's all about so I've, I've used that technique here and uh, I'll see what it comes out like it's, uh, it's a little bit easier than carrying the big heavy tilt shift but not as enjoyable a process manually setting it up the wonderful view down there it's probably a little bit full for my liking is the river at the minute but it's to be expected after yesterday's uh, downpour pretty much 24 hours of severe weather warnings here in the Lake District but yeah so it's a good idea as well the sun's quite low there setting now so I want to try and get some backlight or colour illumination through the trees uh, there's quite a lot of the leaves have gone as well around here now obviously with the the weather as it's been the last uh, week or so but yeah so we'll just have a, a look around see if I can see anything I'm the, the, the rock pool's quite nice I might take a shot there um, but yeah it's a bit um, a bit rough should we say today just with all the excess water but still a fantastic place definitely the best river in the Lake District for my liking and uh, photographically very interesting indeed so yeah okay well I'll keep on looking and uh, maybe speak to you again in a second okay so I've just taken a couple of photographs here with the little pool in the foreground and uh, looking back onto the onto the river there with uh, the bridge above it I can notice now actually that the sun looks to be really good up on the fells through the distance so I'm going to leave this location now and uh, head off down to Wasswater I think uh, or I might stop somewhere else in the Estale Valley should the light um, dictate it looks quite good so I'm going to go for that and I'll catch up with you again in a minute So if you're a landscape photographer you know how frustrating it is to be in the wrong place at the wrong time when you're in the shadows and the lights happen somewhere else and that's the position I'm in now so I've just rushed that shoot down at the river and that that place deserves a lot more respect than I've just shown it you can't come here and expect to just spend two minutes there and make a good image it's just impossible you need to absorb yourself into the surroundings so I've uh, I've been a bit delayed getting out today so that's um, I should have known better about that that's a mistake um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna reset now and I'm gonna head down from here out into the Estale Valley where the light looks absolutely fantastic on these beautifully shaped fells all around the valley sides I'm gonna have a look quick look around there and then I'm gonna head down to Wast Water and I think I've just about got time to get there but this whole rushing around is not 
is not good it's not an enjoyable part of the process you need to give yourself more time or i do anyway the other thing as well is you don't want to be holding your camera out here doing a piece to camera and then turn to the side and see two people stood watching and listening to what you're saying and then you just carry on regardless it's uh, it's quite a quite an experience but anyway uh, i need to get on and uh, i'll maybe catch you again in a second or two when i've uh, got myself down the road Well, we made it to last water and uh, just about in time the lights just disappeared off the just disappeared off the famous screes now which is uh, a shame i've just got it it's not pleasant to be honest when you're rushing about like that it's it, it's not good you need to give yourself as much time as you can and then you you can actually work a scene properly rather than just rushing around to take the same shots you've been taking for the last 20 years but the conditions are absolutely fantastic it's uh, it's beautiful. I'll just quickly uh, show you behind me there. The, the sky's really uh, lit up to the west, and uh, obviously the sun's just dipped behind the fells now, so we've got no direct illumi no direct illumination on the screens behind. But it's such a fantastic vantage point, and every time I come here, I always promise myself I'm going to come here for the day and have a real good explore around. It's this is this is one of those locations i it's always fleeting for me very very fleeting and um you know I, I know there's so much more on offer here and it's it's difficult but when i was back in eskdale there uh, the sun was obviously setting as you might have seen in a clip and the, the light through the trees was glorious absolutely fantastic and then coming down the eskdale valley you can see all the sides of the valley lit up and you're thinking well, what am i doing where am i going you know i'm going to take an image what i've already got 50 times before but um, yeah, today has been a bit of a, a funny day really. It's, uh, you know, experience should tell me to avoid days like this. I mean, I spent two and a half hours on the phone to my uh, my best mate who's got terminal cancer this this morning, well, this afternoon, this morning. And obviously that's really precious time to me, you know, and then, you know, you, you kind of think, right, well, I'll just catch the last of the light. And uh, it puts it into context of, um, things you know life and priorities and what you chase after and uh, all that stuff but yeah humbling should we say but yeah last war it's such a fantastic place these screes are amazing especially this time of year i'm mean, a few years back i chased i chased an image here for a long time and i got it and i'm very pleased with it but i always think things can be improved upon and uh, that's the game isn't it so okay, well uh, this is a bit of a mishmash. So hopefully it'll, uh, I'll be able to uh, construct something watchable from it and share it with you guys. Because uh, if anything, what you should take from this video is be prepared, you know, and uh, give yourself time. Uh, like we've proven in previous days, you know, I'm stood around for an hour or two in flat light, in wind, in rain, and uh, and then today when there's glorious light, it's all over too soon. So you'd really need to. Uh, that's the game, though, isn't it? That's why we love it. I tell you what, if you could dial it in, turn a few knobs, move a few sliders in the in the atmosphere, it would be boring, and none of us would do it. It's the uh, it's the art of the chase, isn't it? The thrill of the chase, the seduction of it all, and that's what it is for me. Anyway, it's it's fantastic. Anyway, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna make my way back and uh, see how things go. I might hang around for a little bit and just see if. Um, see if anything happens in the old blue hour but um yeah lesson to be learned from today and uh i'm too too long into this to be 
still having to learn. I think, uh, you know, there's some fundamental principles what I need to remind myself of and uh, write down maybe. And uh, on days when you're a bit flustered, don't, you know, think of something else. But anyway, there we go. Uh, thanks again for watching. And uh, if you can relate to any aspect of this video, then give us a like and uh, a comment below. It's always interesting to hear what you guys think. And uh, I'll catch you again on the next video coming soon. All the best for now. See you soon. Bye-bye. So I'm still hanging around and um, just experimenting with this flat light, some big long exposures here, eight seconds. A uh, bit of a nice sunset over to the west there. Um, yeah, it's quite nice now because everyone's gone. So it's, uh, well, there's a few people knocking about, but got the place to myself. So just while there's this really flat, shadowless light, I'm, uh, I'm just exploring these rocks here along the side of the... Uh, the shoreline here or the lakeside and I'm, I'm making a few images I'm quite uh, enjoying what I'm doing actually so it's uh, maybe I've rescued the, the shoot in my eyes because uh, I was a bit flustered earlier I'm still here and it's uh, it's almost pitch black uh, but I'm still enjoying a few uh, late night shots with the long exposures so uh, yeah got to make the most of these moments and uh, fantastic here we go yeah Good, okay, thank you for sticking with it. I'll, uh, I'll catch you again on the next video.